Hey there, it's Izzy here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a swinging text effect in Motion 5. It's a pretty common effect you see out there. It's pretty simple to do in Motion, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. And of course, this is a type of what people call kinetic typography, and that's where the type is moving. There's movement to it. It's pretty fun stuff. Okay, let's start with the text tool. So I'm just gonna to click to grab it, go into my canvas, click once, and I'm gonna type swinging text with a few exclamation points because this is really exciting stuff. I hit escape to get out of that. And now let's adjust the alignment. I'm gonna have it be aligned in the center. So I'll click on this little button. Now it's center aligned. And let's move this into place in the canvas. I'll use the guides to help me there to get it centered. And let's increase the size, make it a little easier to see our effect. Uh, maybe like that. Okay, there we go. Uh, probably needs to be lowered in the canvas just slightly. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna go to properties and I'm gonna adjust the rotation. Now, there is this triangle here, it's called a disclosure triangle. And if you don't see these additional options here, that means you need to click on that to show the additional rotation options. See, using this one right here, I can adjust it like this, but that's not what I want. Command Z to undo. What I wanna do is click the disclosure triangle and then adjust the X rotation parameter. I can click here, you'll see that I can swing the text around the baseline right now. That's not exactly what I want, is it? I want it to swing from the top. So I'm gonna hit Command Z to undo. What I need to do is adjust the anchor point. The way that you do that is you click on this tool till you see the anchor point tool, select it. And the anchor point is the point around which transformations happen. So if I move this to the top, then when I rotate the X, rotation, it's gonna rotate around the top of the text now instead of the bottom. So that's what I want, right? So I'm gonna click and go back to my transform tool and let's see what it looks like if I adjust the X. And sure enough, I can click and drag and now I'm swinging from the top, right? Command Z to undo. I wanna automate this and I wanna be able to see this a little bit more clearly. So what I'm gonna do now is add a camera to my project just because I wanna be able to work in 3D. Even though the end result isn't gonna be in 3D necessarily, it could be, but it's not gonna be for this project. I wanna be able to see it in 3D. So I'll go to Object, I'll choose New Camera. I'll go ahead and switch my whole project to 3D. And now I can adjust the camera orbit here to the side. This is what I wanna do. I wanna adjust it to the side so I can see the swinging a little bit better. Uh, maybe something like this. And once again, this is just so I can see it a little bit better right now. So now I will select the text, go back to my properties inspector and adjust my X. See how that looks? Yeah, it's a lot easier to see it now. Command Z to undo. And this is where it gets kind of exciting because what we're gonna do is automate this effect that so that I don't have to manually keyframe the whole thing. So what I'll do is I'm going to set a parameter behavior on the X rotation. So the way that you do that is you just go to the right side of this parameter. You'll see this little triangle. I'm gonna click on it once to bring up this shortcut menu. I'll choose add parameter behavior and I'm gonna apply something called oscillate. And what oscillate does is it just bounces that parameter back and forth. And you'll see here the effect of that in a moment. I'll click on oscillate. I'll hit play to play through and you can see that sure enough, there it is, it's swinging. Now it's swinging in slow motion, but it is swinging. So let's increase the speed. I'll change the speed of the, the oscillate parameter behavior to 100. And now it's swinging faster. Okay, but you can see gravity is having no effect at all. It's not bringing it to a stop at all. That's not what I want. So I'll stop the playback and I'll move the playhead to the very beginning. Now right here, I'm fine with the ampli amplitude being 100, but I don't want to stay there. So I'll click the little keyframe here while my playhead is on the very first frame. I added a keyframe, so it's gonna lock that value. It's gonna be 100 on the first frame. And now I'm gonna play through my project just for a few seconds maybe right around there or so. And at that point, I want the value to be zero. In other words, it's gonna to come to a stop. So I'll just click on it, change it to zero and hit return. And now let's see what happens as we play through it. You can see that sure enough, it comes to a stop. You see that? Now the thing that isn't natural right now is it's starting from a straight down position. And if it's gonna swing into place, it can't be straight down. So what we're gonna do is adjust the offset. This little slider right here, it says start offset. And that's the offset of the first frame of the action. Now if I adjust this to the right, it's not gonna have any effect because I, if I offset it forward in time, that's not gonna have an effect. I wanna offset it backwards in time. So I'm gonna go back just a couple frames. So I'm gonna click on this little value right here and just click and drag to the left just a little bit, maybe four frames, three or four frames or so, right around there. And that looks pretty good. 
So it's going to start with it in the up position, and then it'll fall into place. There we go. So there we go. It's swinging right into place. That's how you create the swinging text effect. Now, you can adjust it, of course, to make it look a little more natural or however you want to do it. Oh, and I also promised that I was going to make this two-dimensional, so I'm going to get rid of the camera, and I'm going to change the layer back to two dimensions. And let's see what it looks like as it swings into place. There we go. Swinging text. Of course, it would look cool in 3D too. That's up to you. So basically, it comes down to moving the anchor point of the text, adding an oscillate parameter behavior, and then keyframing that behavior so that it reduces the effect that it has on the text over time. Pretty simple to do. Hopefully, you found the information in this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.